Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing X Blades Inline Skater on the original PlayStation. Uh, this one came out back in 2001 and it has a reputation for being one of the worst PlayStation games you can get. So I wanted to try it out. Being that it's not skateboarding, I'm not going to do a full review of it, but I felt like I really had to give it a try. So far, all I've done in the game is I played for a couple minutes just to get a feel for the controls, but that is about it. And uh, I don't have much of a feel for the controls because they barely work. So it, it kind of plays like Tony Hawk controls, uh, but circle is actually for spins. Uh, like, yeah, like that one or backflips or that kind of thing. So uh, something that immediately feels different is grind. So in the Tony Hawk games and most games, in general, if you are on top of a rail and you're just kind of close, you're a few inches off, uh, you'll kind of snap to it. This game, you don't. So you actually have to aim it really, really well. Um, the other thing is that controls, there's a lot of times where I'm sitting here, I'm jumping up and down and nothing's happening. I'm hitting a button, but it just won't do anything. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know if there's a limit to how many times you can do the same trick. Okay, so I needed 14,000 points and I did not get it. Um, and part of that is just because half the time I try a trick, nothing happens. So I'll, I'll jump up and down. You can probably hear me hitting buttons and it just won't do anything. So I'll try to figure out maybe you can't do the same trick twice in a row or something like that. Um, I don't have a manual for this game and I was not able to find one online. So I'm kind of flying blind with that kind of stuff. I know his best trick is supposedly the crowd surfer or something like that, um, which is up circle, and yet most of the time I hit up circle, he does a 720, so I don't really know. So those things I'm collecting are for extra time, but you don't get any point bonus for... Uh, having extra time at the end, so I don't really know why it cares, but it always complains if I don't grab them. Whoa, 720, yeah, that was pretty sick. Yeah, see these, I can't do a trick here. I don't know if um, I have to have a certain amount of height off the ground or it won't even bother, I'm not sure. It also kind of seems like the tricks are sometimes random. All right, let's try something good, oh, of course. So having that, two times multiplier and then doing his special trick would be the only real way to uh, win. Cause I was I, 9,000 almost, I needed 14. Let's give this one more try. So I've gone through the menus and things like that and there is no tutorial, no uh, controls thing. This game was not popular at all, so there's no one on GameFAQs making uh, walkthroughs or strategies or anything like that, so I'm not really sure. Oh, that was a good one. Ugh. Um, so it's kind of tough to figure out what to do. Ugh, come on. So that's a multiplier, right? Okay. Ugh. It only lasts for a second and it will probably be over by the time I manage to get a trick in, yeah. So you would think it might help to kind of just do some flat ground stuff like that, but it just will not let me do a trick there. Come on, I cannot lock into anything. It's driving me crazy. It shouldn't be that hard to get that many points based on um, like his, uh, his one crowd surf air that I have not been able to do yet is worth a thousand points. Oh, oh, a big O, come on. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. It's a kid's game. All right. 720, yeah, that's good. But what about his other trick? Oh, 15,000, okay, I don't care, I did it. I missed three monkey tokens, which don't seem to do anything that I can tell. Uh, now, I believe, okay, so I qualified. Does that mean that I have to do it again, or what's the deal here? Let's find out. Uh, race, okay. I believe there's only two players in this game. I had a choice between two when I started, although it was a girl, so I don't know who this kid is. 
All right. Now it is really tough to clear things. What is that? Is that like a the X game symbol or something? Um, I don't know what good it'll do to con to grab that kind of stuff. But the controls are really awkward. It's tough to yeah. Like there's no way to to clear all this stuff consistently. Hopefully, when I inevitably lose, I won't have to redo the qualifier too. Okay, I got a lightning bolt. That seems like it would be important. Killing it. Oh, that was close. You would think that little, those, these little banks on the side would feel like banks, but it's just kind of like I'm hitting a wall. Okay. I wonder if, if I'm actually winning by a lot or if he's two inches behind me. Hey, I did it. I missed two wheel tokens. Oh, they're wheels. Okay. I don't know why they have little spokes like that. Do inline skates have spokes? I don't think so. Okay, now this is probably gonna be another trick one, right? Or there's a third event, let's find out. Moonlight Bay. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably the same level, just reversed and at night. Uh, it's looking kind of like that. Let's see. I did not notice how many points I'm supposed to get, so I'll just do whatever. Oh, oh, oh man, with a two times, that would have been actually good for once. 540, ugh. You know, sometimes when you hit right circle, you'll either do a 360 or a 540. You have essentially no control over which one you do. So if I didn't have enough air time to do a 540, why didn't it just let me do a 360? So I'm doing another lap, I guess. You know, you can land fakie or switch. They call it switch, don't they? Um, you can land fakie and you'll just instantly turn around when you do the next trick, but you roll fakie for a while. So I'm not really sure why it doesn't let you actually do fakie tricks. That'd be cool. Ugh, man, I missed basically every rail there. That was horrible. 5,000 points. So the first level was 14,000. <laughs> uh, is it going to tell me again what I needed? 16,000. I got five. <laughs> uh, this wouldn't be so hard if it wasn't so inconsistent. Let's try it again. I want to at least beat a couple of levels. Because maybe I'll get used to it, or probably not. Come on, get the multiplier. Okay, 720. And the grind. Not too bad, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's hard to explain what it feels like trying to do a grind. Um, you don't snap to it whatsoever, and you just overshoot it all the time. <laughs> Come on. And you can't do tricks on flat. Hey, it looked like I was gonna land that, but I guess I did. It also seems like you can hold your grinds for a second, or your grabs for a second, but they don't seem to give you more points if you do. I have yet to figure out how to do his special move consistently. I did it a couple times when I was learning the game. Ugh. Not even, well, that was close, I guess. Maybe I should try harder to get those tokens. I really don't think they do anything, but I don't know. So is this game one of the worst games ever made on the PlayStation? Um, you know, it's not that glitchy and buggy and broken. It's not good. You know, I'd be really upset if I paid full price for this back in the day, but it's not, uh, it's frustrating for sure, but it's not broken at least. Uh, right there, I didn't even do a trick. Come on. Grab the monkey. Come on, kid. Grab the monkey. All right. Backside grind. It's so weird that they use 
skateboarding terms for stuff that doesn't even... Like, how do you determine front side and back side when you're just going straight? I was going to see if I could grind that, but I couldn't. Come on, I just did nothing. 360, okay. Big O. Ugh. Need a big O the monkey. So I'm getting close. That means that I will probably not land anything else the whole rest of the course. Come on, do something good. Did I do it? Ugh, come on. <sighs> okay. Let's try it one more time. The race was really easy. And then this mode is really hard. I don't know if I'm missing something. I'm, I'm sure I am. All right. Oh, I was trying to open up a pause menu to see if there's some kind of control explanation or something in there. And uh, you pause and nothing happens. So that's cool. Ah. Uh. Man, that pretty much breaks my whole run. Front side. Yeah, again, how's there? Come on. Oh, there is a pause menu. And a trick button. Come on, why didn't that come up when I hit it earlier? So up, down, left, right, they all should do something. But I will tell you right now that they don't. Rails, okay, grabs, spins. So that's up, circle. But up, circle is also squiggles. How do I determine between a spin and a ground trick stage dive oh that's what i was going for up up circle guitar slide huh. okay i'm gonna restart this run because i really need to get that multiplier thing okay so i do have this full list of games that i am going to have to play at some point there's a lot of uh obscure arcade games and stuff that, uh, hey, I did my special grind. Um, arcade, oh, come on. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Obscure arcade games and stuff that are gonna be hard to track down, but I really want to play everything that I can. My original plan for this entire channel, the whole reason I started, was to play every skateboarding game ever and give them a review as a skateboarder. That was the plan. And, um, come on, come on. Hey, hey. Um, and I have since expanded into doing all my trick histories and all kinds of other stuff, but it is still basically just an excuse for me to play all this stuff. And um, so I'm gonna keep that going as long as I can, as long as people will watch it anyway. Hey, I did a flat ground trick, I'm not sure how. Man, I'm killing it with the score this time. If only I... <laughs> if only I um, had found the trick menu earlier. I'm telling you, though, I hit start and nothing happened. A couple of times. Heel grab? Doesn't sound very exciting. Wow, look at that score. I'm probably the best X-Blades player ever. Okay, I missed some monkeys. I'm sure that'll mean something at the end, like I won't be able to unlock the last level or something just to punish me. But for now, I'm doing pretty good. Now, why I have to qualify for a race by doing a lot of good tricks. But doing tricks during a race doesn't seem to do anything for you. I don't know. This game is seriously feels like it should have come out of a cereal box or something, you know? But uh, I don't know if this cost, you know, 40 or 50 bucks, whatever they were PS1 games were at the time, that would really suck. Okay. So there is no kind of racing controls. I don't feel, I don't feel like I accelerate, you know, I don't have to hit the brake button. Come on. I don't know if I can even clear those. Uh, I don't know if there's, you know, there's no brake button, there's no actual racing skill involved. You just kind of don't hit stuff and you'll be okay. Of course, that is hard enough. I guess I just got a speed power up. Is that what the lightning bolt does? I don't know. Let's 
Let's see if I can beat this first try. Now that I know how to do tricks, this really might not be that tough of a game. Come on. Are you supposed to do any better than that? I have seen the other guy fall before though, so at least you don't have to be perfect. All right, let's see what the next level is. I would like to be somewhere other than on this exact same location again. Let's see. Curbside Park, okay. 18,000 points, no problem, I got this. One thing to point out as well is I turned off the music because you have to for YouTube copyright purposes. But aside from that, there's almost no sound. So I have my headphones in and I hear them land. And that's about it. There's not much going on from a sound design perspective. Can't really expect much. So the good thing is that um, your tricks don't get to be worth less. So if I can do the stage dive 18 times, I will get my whole score just like that. Okay, so this one is a little bit different, I guess. It's still the same, um, same obstacles. So I want to hear what your recommendations for other games like this are. Because this one is pretty obscure. I think it's pretty rare, too. Um, to be honest with you, I'm playing on an emulator because I'm pretty sure this one costs some money to find. And I've recently gotten rid of almost everything I own to try to save up for a move. So I'm not buying a lot of stuff right now. But if there's anything else like this that I need to try, let me know. Um, I do have another list. There's uh, Extreme Roller which I don't think is a direct sequel to X-Blades, although it's named kind of similar. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that one. I really wanna get Top Skater, uh, which is on, it's, it was an arcade unit. There used to be one at my skate park and you would stand on a skateboard and kind of rock back and forth. Uh, supposedly it uses the same engine as uh, MTV Skateboarding, which I reviewed before. It's the one with uh, Andy McDonald in it. <laughs> we had the exact same fall animation. But supposedly there was uh, maybe like a Saturn version, but not in America or something. I'm not entirely sure, but there is a way to play that without the arcade unit, and I'm going to try to figure that out. There are some arcades around here, but I've never seen Top Skater. Okay, let's see. I'll get some wheels this time. Come on. You know, it almost seems like it takes less time to just barrel through it and fall over rather than try to do all those tight turns that it wants you to do. It seems to be working out for me. So this game is a perfect example of the kind of thing I want to do gameplay footage of because this is not worth spending a week doing a full review on. That's typically what I would do. Um, you know, play the whole game, record all the footage, write a script, edit the whole thing, and it would take me a week, and no one would watch it, uh, because no one cares about this game. No one's searching for this one. So it's it's fine to just spend a couple minutes and play it, but this one is really not worth any more than that. I might check out the next level, uh, just because I'm beating this one right now, and then that'll probably be it. You know, I don't care what I unlock at the end and all that kind of stuff, because it's gonna be nothing. Although I wonder, what would happen if they took this engine and kind of made almost like a free world uh, or open world Tony Hawk style type of level where you could ride around and do tricks because there's a decent amount of tricks. They don't work half the time, but if they made them work and you had different kinds of rails and cool locations and stuff, that would be fine. Okay, so they just did what they did for the second level, which was just... Um, use the same location and make it nighttime so not much to see here that's gonna be about it for now um, I do have a lot of other skateboarding and other kind of trick based uh, game footage that you can check out I have uh, gameplay reviews 
or gameplay videos in a playlist. I also have full reviews in another one. So check all those out if this is the kind of content you're looking for. Aside from that, I also make all kinds of other skateboarding culture things uh, like trick histories. I teach tricks on the Shred School. Uh, all kinds of other stuff like that. So subscribe for all kinds of skateboarding content. And every now and then, something kind of weird like this one. And that will be it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.